Who went all around the world to have suffered but stood up, up, changed the world for girls. Let's look at a few of them. I will be mentioning the women who aren't like as famous as others. Um, Lozen. Once Lozen was a girl that and lived in what's now Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. When she was young, her tribe her tribe was attacked. And she saw uh, so much people do- die. And from that day on, she said to her brother, I don't want to do women's work and I don't want to get married. I want to fight like a man. Her, her brother, Victorio, decided it was fine and taught her how to fight. And soon she became a warrior. Her brother said, Lozen is my left hand, strong as a man, braver as, as most, and cunning and strategy as Lozen. It's a shield to her own people. Um, and then this is a picture of her. And, and a quote that she had was, in this world, the unseen has power from Lozen. Mary Edwards Walker, Mary, wait, Mary Edwards Walker, okay. There was a girl who decided I will wear what I want. And so she did. She wore boots, pants, ties, and shirts. And her parents thought that girls could wear whatever they want. Because women back then had to, had to wear tight corsets. If they were clothing that that made her corset that that made her torso really small but had a lot of downsides, and then they have layers of poofy dresses. So she decided that the things should change. She did got arrested a few times, but still she wore what she wanted to. Later in life, Mary stepped up to work in the Civil War and saved many lives uh, during the, the Civil War, and she was awarded a Medal of Honor as a surgeon once. The war ended, and this is a and this is a picture of her. And the quote that she uh, that she wrote was, "Let the generations know that women in uniform are also guaranteed in their freedom." Ma- from Mary Edwards Walker. Uh, the the Marable sisters. There was a horrible dictator, Raphael Teru Teru. Wait one second, Raphael Trujillo, who took power, and the sisters fought freedom. Uh, they put out pamphlets and post that and protested to restore democracy, but the old man didn't like that. Uh, in his little sexist world of Rothel to to Jello, uh, he thought that women were supposed to be complimenting him, give flowers, say thank you with a smile, not protest and raise their voice or even think about or overturning the regime. He got scared and decided to quiet them by throwing them in jail. He barred them from, from, from practicing the law. He imprisoned one of them, um, Minerva and her mom in hotel room, and even tried to seduce Minerva. Um, she, she didn't care, though. Who cares about marrying this old smelly man anyway? The girls inspired other, girl, other people, and soon Raphael was taken down, and democracy was restored. Um, and these are the, the three sisters. We cannot allow our children to go up to grow up in this corrupted and tyrannical regimen, the the, the Maribel sisters. Um, and this is my last one, Shamisa Hassani. So there was a girl and she had a talent that she could paint really fast and really good. Um, and something that that that, that would take um norm, um normal people hours to make, she could make it in just a few minutes. Um, in Afghanistan, she li- she grew up in fear. And one wrong thing she did, and bam, she'd be criticized uh, for the rest of her life by everyone. So she decided to make graffiti on the walls in a few mi- in a few minutes, so that way she wouldn't get caught. And she would paint women, who women who would do things other than sitting at home, ones who would who would be a scientist, go to school, play music, go to space, and and more. And painted them on walls so that everyone would see them going to school, coming from work, walking around ETC. Um, and the quote that she wrote was, the women I paint are not women who stay at home. They're women full of energy. And Shamia Hassani. And that is, sorry, that's short.